Hello guys, welcome and welcome back. I created an AI agent for Indian Railway that is for IRCTC. So let's see how it works. So I'm just going to start with a demo first. So we have this app.py file that I'm going to run so that it is going to allow me to write something like a prompt. So let's wait. Now we have this prompt available. What I'm going to do is just select a train and ask it what is the status of this train what is so now you can see here it returns the reason that the plan what it is going to do that is find the train number for karnataka express what all these things are what all these things it is doing i'll explain you in a bit but for now let's just consider this thing that the karnataka express is currently in bangalore junction how it understand or how it knows that so basically you can see current junction this is not karnataka express so for karnataka express we have to find the train number you can see it is in karnataka junction and it is five minute delayed so this is this it is getting data from this json so how it is calling all this function and everything we will see now so let me close it and let's move to the code part so the first function that we are going to look at is basically let's look from this NTES demo that is national training query system basically these are the function those will be replaced by actual logic to get data from the API of NTES but for now it was paid and uh, getting it is very difficult so basically what i ended up doing i just downloaded a few things and replicated them to create this JSONs. basically this is how you will get from the api then where we were here so what we are doing going to do is first is get train number mapping so what train number mapping is to get the train number from train name why we need that because even their api needs train number to get train running status so that's why we are going to first get train number from train name if someone is writing name instead of number so first get that if not it can directly call it so we will see that also in the demo so first thing first let's call this thing basically load the json file and return it so it is going to it is going to return enter this thing so that is straightforward then again going back here let me collapse it the next function is to get train status so using the train number that it is getting we are going to load this json file that is train status here you will see that we have train number one then train number two that is train number this train number this one that is what is where it is current station and so on so for multiple trains so getting data for the single train we have added this filter and we are just returning the train like if the number matches with the number that we are getting we are going to return it basically here we will just going to call the api instead of getting it from here so these two function primarily we are looking i was also working on pnr number but again i couldn't get the api so i decided not to go here we are just going to see this thing okay now we have imported all these functions here let me go to the model also so basically this is entire code that is copied from chat gpt nothing fancy so here you can see this is where i am putting my api key and then we are creating the model and calling it basically getting the content so model we are going to pass the prompt whatever the message we are sending we are passing it here and one more important thing that is we are using chat gpt forum model then let's move to the main part where everything is getting orchestrated so again we have imported this model we have imported these methods or functions that we are going to need for chat gpt to call them and this is basically json so i'm calling it as a primer function or a primer framework because just to make it more easy it is not something that i invented i just copied many things from many things many places for example the documentation how people are implementing and came up with something that should be simple to understand 
and people are writing very big system prompts that is taking more tokens and so on so this is going to cost us more than what we have here so whatever we, the number of characters or number of tokens we have if those are short then it should be fine and it should be cheap for us so we are just telling the chat gpt function okay so let's start with the system prompt we are just telling chat gpt that these are the steps that you have to use to handle user request so the steps are first is wait for user input that is our prompt input then what needs to be done let's plan it then invoke the function basically take an action or invoke the function wait for the result or monitor the result that this function is giving it explain the output and recover error if something goes wrong so we will see this as well then the function that we created i just added them here like this is the function it gives this this is the function that gives pnr number this is our status this is the this is the function that gives train name so basically i just created this one first and i was thinking let's let's not tell chat gpt an example of that function and let them use it so that to prove that this is not something this is that this is just doing whatever we have here and it also knows when to call something else when needed so that's that's why i wanted to add this thing so here i just gave it an example like get okay, train running status for this train so it is straightforward you can see here we don't have the name we are just straightforwardly telling it that you need to get function you need to get this status for this train you have to call the function for this number and return that okay this train is delayed at this place by 10 minutes and so on that is how we have explained chat gpt so again this is something this is not i have explained it here but it knows how to handle it then we created a message telling that system that this is the system prompt so basically what this is this is something that we are telling it that this is the system role that is using this as a prompt this is system prompt then we have also added tools basically we are telling this is not for chat gpt it is we, this is for python because we have to call this function on the basis of what chat gpt tells us so i believe this till this part it is straightforward then here a bit complicated part you will see so this is straightforward again till this part that okay we are just getting the prompt and then we are appending that prompt into our message here we have the system prompt now we are appending another thing another another object into this array so the array is the object is role user so basically end user is telling what the content is this is the input that is we are dumping so the message is going to get appended here now we are going to call chat gpt with this entire message that includes system prompt as well as the user prompt once we do that we are going to get the result and we're again going to insert the result to this assistant so that it knows like what is the context and something like that so basically if it asks i couldn't find the train number can you repeat or can you try one more time and we just are entering the train number it should understand if it is a train number or if it is train if it is pnr number something like that that's why so just keeping the history and making it like context aware then we are going to load the json into the result basically what this next step is out of these many steps what are the steps that we have to perform according to that we have to take our action also so if the state is explain output we are just going to print it we don't care about anything it is final output and it has to explain it so that's what we are doing and we are ended up ending up this loop basically which loop the result on if the step is invoke action if we need to call any function or invoke action so we have created this thing so basically tools we are creating a tools where we are telling it that we have to call the specific function so function is going to be if for example it says i need to call train status function or get train status function this get train status function going to get written using this this step so inside tool basically the step type is invoke function 
So let me take this example and put it down here so that it will be easy. For example, here now chat GPT returned us this JSON that the type is going to be invoke function. So we validated it. We are here and now the if condition is true. Now we have to call the function. So to get the function name, what we are going to do is step dot function. So step dot function is going to return us get train status. Now to call the function, we need to have actual function, not the string. This is the string function. And here we have actual function. So if you click on it, it will go to this, not the string. So now this function is getting assigned to fn. And then using this fn, we are calling the function using the input. So input is this. So now we are calling get train status function with this input here. I hope this part is clear. Then we are monitoring the message, basically monitoring the output. And so this thing we are going to do, monitor the result. So we means not the end user, but as a Python or the developer, we are going to do it. Once we get the output, we are going to append that message. So basically role developer, that is us, then content, whatever the result is. So monitor result is the type, result is the output. If something goes wrong here, it, if it returns nothing, if something, some exception happens, we're going to tell that there is a, there is a step that says recover error and we are going to append it using role developer and contain this. And that's how our function is going to. Now it is going to run in loop forever, like while true till we get an plain output. So this thing is going to get called last because if we see here, so first thing is going to be prompt input, prompt input. So getting input from result, then plan the action, whatever we need to do, if we need to call something or if we need to call some other function recursively, something like that, then take action, monitor result. So this is something that developer is going to do or the code is going to do. Then explain the output, what is going to be the final output and then so final output can be one of these two things. One is explain outputs. If everything is everything is fine and we have final output, it is going to explain it. If not, it is going to recover the error or it is going to handle error and respond appropriately. So this is going to be your last step. This is going to be your last step and in between it is going to be recursive. So let me try something, for example, Let's open um, so get train running status for Purushottam Express. Now it got the number. It is calling it and it is saying that Purushottam Express is currently scheduled to arrive at Del New Delhi with 10 minutes delay. So it knows how to get the train number. For example, if I say for a train number, this. There was some issue, so it, I couldn't record uh, it. It was like frozen. So let me go through this one more time. So you can see here the train status earlier we put up the name now we're putting the number so you can see the get train number status it completely skipped one step that is getting train number mapping and getting train number from the name because we already have so it didn't go through that then we called another api uh, another we put up another uh, prompt saying that get train number status for this invalid number so it went it just search and it didn't find anything. So now you can see recover error. This is the step where we're going to recover. Now at the end, the explain output is going to train number this does not pro exist or invalid. So please check the train number and try again. So at the end, I did one more time, like get train num running status for India Express. We know that it does not exist in the data set or the JSON. So it just planned everything. It tried to get the mapping. It didn't find anything. So it said, I couldn't find anything for India Express. So please verify the name and try again. 
So it didn't call the next function. That is how we are going to, uh, this, that is how the chat Jupyter is handling and we are going to build the AI agent. Before closing the video, I wanted to tell that all the code and everything is available here. I have pasted this uh, link in the description. So if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.